Hello there, this is Matias Kupiainen and Timo Kotipelta from Stradivarius. Uh, when Timo Tolki left the band, um, I phoned um, Jörg and Jensen Lauri and uh, I asked them if they, they would like to continue making music with me. And uh, I was very happy to hear that they, they really wanted to make some music. And uh, they, we didn't have any, any idea if the band would be named as Stradivarius or something else. But uh, since we've been touring, like I've been together with Jens and Jörg about 13 years in the band, so of course we have a very good relationship, and and thus we uh, we just had this feeling that let's continue making some music, and uh, then um, that was actually uh, somewhere last May. Anyway, <coughs> uh, Lauri had had a gig with Matthias together, and and uh, Tavastia Club they they were playing, they were supporting this album called Guitar Heroes or something, yeah. and. And then as I remember that the next day, Lauri phoned me and he told me that hey, there was this one guy who had like awesome technique, very nice guy, the best playing abilities I've I've heard in years. And then I asked him, so what was his name? And then then Lauri said, ah, it's Matthias Kupian. And and then I I told Lauri that I met the guy. I somehow remember the name. And then I went to YouTube and I was checking out Matthias Kupian. And then there was this guy playing like all the all the all the crazy stuff. And uh, <laughs> we, everybody else in the band, we were completely blown away. Uh, what a brilliant guy! And then we had this idea that okay, hmm, maybe he could replace Tolki. And that was maybe after um, three weeks when I came to this same very studio to uh, talk to Matthias, and uh, we were chit-chatting about yeah, something else. Something else, yeah. Something about was it something like a this former pop rock band, I think, what we produced here and stuff like that and then yeah then then I asked him this is this is not not actually the reason why I came over but would you like to join the band <laughs> and then it took yeah. maybe two seconds yeah, yeah. why not yeah <laughs> why not <laughs> sure why yeah, not? let's have a try <laughs> hmm. yeah. yeah and we didn't have hmm. any audition or we didn't have any um, you know we didn't ask people in the internet to send us some demos because when when this guy when, when I heard this guy playing, it was like, he's to, he's to do it if he's willing to do it, and uh, of course, some people might think that it's it's um, it's it's not so difficult easy to uh, replace Tolki. Of course, it's not. He's got a different uh, playing style, and Timo he's a brilliant guitar player, but this guy he has what we need for the band: some new, fresh energy, the technique, and uh, especially the attitude. This guy has his feet on the ground. Or on the floor right now. <laughs> yeah. and, um, early June, uh, Laura, Jens, Matthias, and me, we went to, we drove to my old hometown called Lappeer, 400 kilometers north from Helsinki. I rented a cottage and then um, we just went there, put the sauna on, started to drink some beer, and then, but to work, we started to work. Of course, the beer came later. But uh, we were just, you know, sauna. yeah, and the sauna came a bit later as well. We just, you know, wanted to lay down some ideas. And uh, we recorded a demo. Can't remember how many songs. We had something like a eight, ten. No, we had complete something like about fourteen songs. Because we had this right. cause this that uh, this deep unknown was the latest latest song. So it's and that was demo sixteen. True. So we composed totally sixteen songs, and eleven went to so no ten. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So, and that, I think this this uh, music camp, as we call it, um, I think it was very good for us to get to know this guy, and but also to compose new music. And uh, we had like basically just your computer stuff from this studio. Yeah. And just two hand microphones and then nothing special, but we still wanted to yeah. compose some music, and uh, mm. it was a nice experience. We got some some stuff done okay and then um, we started to rehearse with Jörg um, in the middle of August last year he came to Finland mm. and uh, then we rented this um, sort of house which is like outside of Helsinki well it, it is still in Helsinki but by the sea where we've been rehearsing with Stradivarius in the past as well and then we took well the gear from your studio from five yeah, five yeah. By, so some, by something five. like a yeah, basic digi design rack and some preamps and lots of microphones and and then that was the yeah. idea to do some you know basic recordings 
there and, and maybe then move to the proper studio but uh, actually the whole drums what is heard in, in Polar's album are, are recorded in his tournament. Yeah, anyway. it's just um, we were rehearsing and then also we were recording the drums and then later we thought that the drum takes that we were recording there they were so good that it didn't matter it, it, it didn't make any sense to come yeah. to to, uh, to some other studios because um, of course the sound wasn't that good because of the room and, and so on but the yeah, feeling it was, was good. horrible the hor that was horrible but then again yeah. of course in the studio you yeah. put some samples on the, on, on the snare and stuff like that and especially on the kicks um, yeah then when we rehearsed three weeks um, yeah. then at the end we, we have had once again this Finnish tradition sauna beer combination yeah. and um, after killing a lot of mice Jens did it um, or the traps of course but anyway uh, then uh, after three weeks then we decided that we're gonna use the name Stradivarius not before and that was because when we heard how the songs sounded and then we were like hmm how, what does it sound like it sounds like Stradivarius then we thought hmm it doesn't make any sense to use some metal yeah, yeah, metal yeah. kings of metal or some something else for the uh, <laughs> for the band yeah. because everybody would have always said that hey this is uh, uh, whatever metal and extra Stradivarius but they play Stradivarius so basically they are Stradivarius Stradivarius of fire yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly so then we yeah. decided that okay now it doesn't make any sense to use any other name but that was very late uh, August last year also uh, uh, on, on, on the next tours uh, we probably gonna play some new countries Mm, which we never did before because not all the people on, on the past lineup wanted to play a lot of gigs. So this is a good thing about this lineup we, because we really want to play for the people everywhere. So hopefully this works out and uh, it will be fun on the tour. I know Definitely, it, yeah. it is. Oh. So welcome to the band. <laughs>